Hey guys, welcome back. So it is week eight of my prep for USAPL Open Nationals. So it, that means I'm two weeks out. So almost game time. I'm super excited about this meet coming up. Um, so this is so this also starts. Um, this also marks the beginning of my taper leading into the meet. So at this point on, I'm actually going to be going lighter than I've been training the um, previous weeks. So my heaviest training week was about two weeks ago whenever I did like 97.5% on squat, bench, and deadlift. This week I'm going to be dropping it down to about 90, 92.5. It's going to be the heaviest I'm going to go and it's going to continue to decrease leading up to the meet. So that's going to give, give my body a chance to start to recover and um, just like get me um, well rested for the meet. Uh, so let's see how this goes. So here in day one, my top set is 630 pounds. And as some of y'all might have noticed, I'm still wearing my my fat squat suit um, leading into this meet. So basically, um, I was at a certain point, I was contemplating going up to the next weight class to the 74 kilo. Uh, for various reasons, I was going to make a video about it, but I ended up not making a video about it. Uh, that's something you can ask me, DM me about if you really want to know why. But, um... Basically, I'm still I'm still pretty heavy at this point. I'm still like at like 150, mid 150s. Um, so I'm still pretty fat. I couldn't put on my my tighter meat suit yet. Um, so that's so uh, just in case some of y'all might have noticed that. So the first set wasn't bad. This this um, suit's still pretty loose. Wraps are loose as well. But I prefer I prefer my wraps loose, especially whenever I feel like the weight's not that heavy yet. Um, but not bad um, for you know my taper because at this point my body's pretty beat up. Okay, so I'm just gonna elaborate a little bit more. So typically you want your squats to be as tight as possible because th basically the tighter it is, the more assistance you get from your suit and from your equipment. But me personally, I prefer to have to not have my my gear too tight because then at that point it basically throws me out of my normal groove. Um, so whenever my wraps are too tight, um, suits too tight. I feel a little more uncomfortable, which sometimes negatively impacts my squat. So at this point, I'm okay with having a looser squat suit. I'm more comfortable in it. And also, like, just being honest, um, like, I don't need to put on my, my, my tighter squat suit for this competition just because I'm pretty confident I can go in and um, do just fine without the tighter suit. I really don't need, I really don't need that much assistance for this meet. All right, so now it's day two. Um, so I was trying to really hype myself up here for this um, this workout session because I didn't have my usual crew with me. Um, so and like at this point, like I was, my body's feeling pretty beat. My lower back is like hurting. My uh, my left lower oblique is still killing me for whatever reason. Um, it's still bruised. So I was really trying uh, my best to you know raise my energy up, but. Um, you know the weights. The weights were still moving at a pretty respectable pace. Um, it wasn't as fast as it's moved in the past, but being that I'm like you know this, you know like less than two weeks out from my meet, and like you know I've put my body through a lot, um, I'm pretty satisfied with um, the bar speed here. And um, so here's the final set of 540. I typically try to make my last set my best set, but you know <laughs> you can only do so much. So not bad, four singles there at 540 pounds. And after that, moved on to block pulls at 585 pounds, which is about, about 95, 97.5% for me. Um, so my goal is to pull 600 at this meet. Um, yeah, 600. So it'll be, it'll, it'll be a big, uh, big milestone for me. I've been wanting to pull six for, for <laughs> two years now, I, I feel like. I feel like it's been forever. So I'm hoping um, this meet, um, I'll be able to push myself and actually hit that number. All right, so moving on the bench. So the last time I got in my bench shirt was just a complete disaster. Um, I, I failed each rep on my, each set um, of my top sets at 440 pounds, and I dropped it down to 430, and I still missed it. But I was trying on my new shirt for the first time um, when that happened, so that definitely like threw me off. The shirt was way too tight for me to try to touch my chest on the very first day of wearing it. So I basically went back to my old, um, my old looser bench shirt, and um, I was able to touch to my chest. So I was able to get some good, clean sets in, and basically get my confidence back up in my bench. Um, 
so those are my my top sets and then uh, moved on to some two board press at 400 and let's see uh, I think it was about 440 yeah 440 for my board press uh, it's probably gonna be like my heaviest attempt at the meet because I'm only intent on doing about two attempts on squat two attempts on bench and probably all three attempts on deadlift Thursday night I got to go out and um, support one, of the, one a good friend of mine um, Simon Allo he was having his very first concert so um, I had to go out and show him some love some some support so if you guys never heard of him before go ahead and check out Class Jackson on Facebook Instagram YouTube Spotify just whatever follow this man guys he has a lot of talent and um, just it'd be it'd be fun to watch him grow. Yeah! So this is day three. Um, I actually don't have a lot of footage for day three because I had somebody else recording my videos. But um, basically I did um, squats at 455 pounds for singles, then bench 305. Um, front squats to 320 pounds for triples and that basically kind of sums up um, day three here. Um, sorry, I wasn't able to capture, I wasn't able to have most of, most of the footage myself. Um, but I might be able to release some of those later on. All right, so it's day four of training. I had another one of my late night workout sessions. I got to the gym at about 12.30 a.m. on Sunday morning or Saturday night, however you want to call it. Um, so I did uh, 275 pounds there for um, personal bench. And I did some block pulls at 510 pounds. Uh, block pulls move uh, pretty well. And um, so my, my, my lower oblique is still hurting. Um, <laughs> which is ridiculous it's been like two weeks or over two weeks at this point so I'm not sure what's really going on with that I still can't fully tighten my belt without putting myself under a lot of pain um, so I'm just rolling with it I'm hoping by new day it's it sorts itself out if not I'm just gonna have to take some ibuprofen and just tough it out at the meet um, so after board press I mean after block pulls this some board press at 345 pounds and then wrapped up my workout with um, deficit that lives at 390 pounds. So not bad there, just you know, having a loose belt in my lower back um, hurting. Um, but that's all guys, hope you guys enjoyed the workout. See you guys next time.